The book, the people, or the ideas? This is a very pertinent question to ask. When people talk about attacking the book, I'm really not sure what they mean by that. We are essentially talking about texts that are well over a millennia old. They're not meant to be historical or scientific in any way. These are supposed to be sacred texts. And for those of you playing the home game, sacred texts essentially are meant to deal with man's relationship to the divine. That is their goal. That is what they are trying to state. There is also the subjective nature of the whole damn thing. Like, that's another compelling part of it. It's supposed to talk to you. It's supposed to reach down into your heart and feel like it is addressing you and you specifically at given moments and given times. This is why there are Muslims who say that they uh, have received some sort of personal revelation through the Quran. Same thing with Christians too. They'll talk about praying and reading and a certain passage speaking to them one night. This essentially means that the texts are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing in the first place. So how you plan on attacking a completely subjective, interpersonal, one-note text is beyond me. So why would you want to attack the book? Well, what about the people? Sure, some religious people are complete jackasses. Like the hijackers that crashed into the Twin Towers, or the Westboro Baptist Church, or people who kill abortion doctors and bomb abortion clinics. It's those guys that we should be worried about. It's those guys we should be keeping an eye on. And it's those guys that, that we should stop. But if you're going after the people, then answer me this. What part of you is compelled to uphold the truth, at least as you see it. There's nothing, it's the people that are the problem, the people that are doing terrible things, these people that must be stopped and you would want to do everything in your power to stop these people from causing any greater harm. There is no reason for honest discourse because trickery provides a much easier, simpler result. So now we're on to the ideas which are a combination of the two, the, the personality of the individual in question and the text. So why bother? Perhaps it's to reach a large audience. Perhaps it's about helping those closeted individuals. By the way, Dawkins, I owe this to you. But how are you going to attack the ideas without attacking the book or the person? Most debates on the subject of religion usually involve oversimplification and modernization of the book in question and ad hominem attacks going back and forth. People on this site seem to have agendas and I'm not slamming people for having agendas. I have an agenda. Agendas are good, they are goals, they are things that we set out to do, purpose that we give to our work on this site. But whether it be the book, the people, or the ideas, I firmly believe that if your agenda is nothing more than to attack, makes you a bit of a douchebag. And you also run a high risk of being completely intellectually dishonest in the process and justifying your intellectual dishonesty. I, I'm thinking of someone in particular right now. And again, I can't emphasize enough that this is not just one side. And I'll admit, I don't have a single fucking horse in either of your races. I don't care. There are other things that I would rather concern myself with than whether someone believes in a supernatural fucking sky daddy. And there are especially other things that I would rather be doing with my time than attacking people because they have a, a personal conviction or belief that they came to, or were brought up in, either way, it doesn't fucking matter. But this is most of the community after all. We have theistic apologists over here, and we have atheistic apologists over here, and neither of them know the slightest fucking thing about what they're talking about. And nothing is more painful than knowing that there is no theological basis at all 
for young earth creationism, but here we don't just have a bunch of people like Ben and Fang X spouting that young earth creationism is a fact because it's talked about in the Bible, even though it really isn't, whatever. But we have his arch nemesis, Thunderfoot, essentially claiming in his videos that, yeah, of course young earth creationism is, you know, supported by the Bible. You're both wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're idiots. And all this really to say that arguing religion on the internet essentially comes down to a pseudo-intellectual, a faux-intellectual, minuscule, prick-waving contest.